Next, let's explore docking and undocking options. From these tabs on the left, I can grab, let's say, the property manager and dock it in four different positions. I can also simply let it float freely right in the graphic area. The same is true for the command manager. We can dock it around the screen in four different positions. On the right hand side is the task manager. We can pin this down or we can simply undock it and let it float freely too. Let's take a look at this. The first tab here takes us to the SOLIDWORKS forum. Next are SOLIDWORKS resources. The third tab takes us to the SOLIDWORKS design library. Here's where we store reusable parts like nuts and bolts, washers, etc. The 3D Content Center, that's how we share resources with SOLIDWORKS users around the globe. Next we've got the File Explorer, the View Palette. This palette is related to drawing documents. This is the Appearances, Scenes, and Decals tab. Here we can select from a preset number of appearances and scenes. And the last tab is Custom Properties. To dock the task panel, just grab and drag it, or you can click this icon to dock it. Now before we move on, let's explore how the search options work. Let's select Files and Models. I'm going to type text here, and SOLIDWORKS is looking for files. And SOLIDWORKS has now found some files which match my criteria. Let's see how the search commands option works. For example, let's say I want to find a certain command, let's say a boss. We just type it in, and we get a number of options that pop up. We can click on the tool, SOLIDWORKS will activate it. We can click on the glasses, and SOLIDWORKS will show us the location of this tool, as you see here. 